Hey, YouTube. What y'all doing today? Today, I've made another arch trellis and I'm planting a few cucumbers to go across and one leafagore. I put some cardboard down as you can see. I've shoveled in some mulch. Gotta go get another load. And I'm laying it down over that cardboard under this trellis to help with the grass mowing. Our grass is kind of tall right now because we've had those storms come through and the ground's wet and it's been too wet to mow. Yesterday was beautiful and I would have loved to mow the grass yesterday, but it's going to get it today. But before it gets good and warm, I'm out here planting cucumbers. These are some long fellows. And I put the cardboard down, it's gonna compost. And this is a fresh mulch that's been sitting around for a couple months now. And uh, I'm confident that it's gonna do what it needs to do to keep me from having to mow this spot right here. I think my mower will fit perfectly right in between there. So and I've got me some more cardboard over here I'm gonna put under the teepee and mulch that too. Just trying to make things a little easier and uh, getting her done. Yesterday, my awesome neighbor that I barter with gave me some cut pieces of cattle panel and one whole cattle panel so that I didn't have to go buy extra. I will replace her whole one, but she was going to not be using the cut ones, so she let me have those. There was a uh, three of them i got one still left to put up i need an extra post hole uh, uh t-post and i need to pull that one up because it was i had already had those set i was intending on putting a full length panel there and uh so i didn't have my measurements right for two cut ones but uh, i rigged that up and got it there on the other side of those weeds uh is my zucchini plants and the next row up is squash so i'll probably get some more uh vertical trellis in the first or do something to help them uh, so they don't spread out everywhere as you see i've got my hands full with weeding that's gonna have to be done in the next day or two and adding in some more mulch the rain washed my mulch and it needs spread back out and it also needs more hauled in so Today, while I'm working on planting those cucumbers, I'm also hauling in mulch. And then in a little while, I'll cut grass. Just have to stop what I'm doing every 20 or 30 minutes and go make sure my mom is okay. So far, so good. She's having a good day. Cardboard is a wonderful thing. Putting that under there. Going to cover it with mulch out to the corners good. I wanted my cardboard to extend a little closer to the squash vine so I wouldn't have so far to mulch there. I can spread it out as far as I want to on the outer parameters and it's easier so I thought I'd do the more detailed with cardboard first. Less weed eating y'all. TP project, an arch trellis, mulching, complete. I still got to haul some mulch into this garden and rake and all that. But Miss Lufa is in her new spot. I only did one. I didn't want to get overwhelmed with that stuff. I don't even know if it'll grow here. And on the other side, got three cucumber plants. Didn't want to get overwhelmed with those either. I know that they grow prolifically here. So, got three to go on that. And my teepee. Bougainvillea has a place to trellis and I won't have to weed eat underneath it and risk chopping something that doesn't need to be chopped. So, and for now, I'm through hauling in mulch. I've got to mow the grass. As you can see, it's getting tall and shabby and I cannot stand for it to look like that. So, Mimsy's Garden's weeding and Weed eating. We'll have to wait. We gotta get this grass cut. 
Well, the grass looks better. Can't get the reed eater running, but it's old as Methuselah, and we were going to have to replace it anyway, so. We're looking at an Echo. I told Terry I didn't want to purchase something that was just a cheap piece of junk to have to repurchase in a year or two. We had that other weed eater for years and years and years and years, and it was a good one. I can't even remember what brand it was, but it was old. It is time that it gave up the ghost. We got many years of service out of it. So I just came through here and pulled some of the weeds on this line, but I still got a lot of weeding to do in the garden. And I got a weed eat around the house, especially in the puppy's play yard over there. Because that's where I let them out the back door. I don't let them roam around the yard. The little Dotsons, their little long-haired Dotsons, they'll take off and go to the road, even though that's a thousand feet away. That's exactly where they head to. So I'm a little upset right now. You see these two elderberries that came from Broussard's homestead that my friend Jen bought and gave to me? She'd given me four. The VA personnel was at the house a while ago and I wasn't paying attention to my little Dotsons in the house. They decided that uh, Elderberry made great chew toys. So they yanked two trees and ate them. So I brought it out to the greenhouse as a protection for my next other two, the last two. Man, talk about a disappointment. Well, this is exciting, kind of. We've got our very first tomato. But this is not from one of my seeded plants. This is from that uh, store-bought celebrity. So, yeah, it's great. But I'll be way more excited when I produce some of my own. Hopefully it won't be much longer before I produce some of my own, though. There's lots of little blossoms on several of the plants so far. So hopefully it won't be much longer and I'll see an actual tomato on a plant that I actually started from seed. We also have our very first squash blossom. Now that's just pretty. There's several on there. The contender beans are blooming. It's a pretty thing. Pretty sight. Well, the cucumbers and the lonely Miss Lufa survived their first night after being transplanted and mulched in on the trellis, the new trellis. So hopefully they'll do well. I did end up replacing one of the hot peppers so far. Um, it wasn't a slug issue. It was a golden retriever and a cat issue. The cat decided to use the ground as the litter box. The golden retriever decided to clean the litter box. And so they killed one of my tiny peppers about the size of this one. So I replaced it with one I had in the greenhouse. Uh, I didn't have any more of the poblanos. So I replaced it with an Anaheim. This little one might have to be replaced too, but I'm gonna give it a few more days and see if it bounces back. The Blacktail Mountain watermelons are coming along. There's about six of them in this crate. This piece of hog panel or cattle panel is not gonna stay here. I just propped it up here yesterday when I was mowing the grass. It was pretty good to keep the cat out of there, so I might leave it until these melons get a tad larger and then put it up to trellis something else. Some of these little Marconi peppers are making a comeback after their ordeal with the slugs. Some of them are struggling still, like that one. And some of them just have some leaf damage and they're okay. Now that banana pepper looks pretty pitiful. I may replace it just because those slugs really, really, really did some damage. But beer works, and I gotta get some more. I had only bought those two cans, and uh, they definitely killed slugs. 
got some blossoms on this jalapeno too. So anyway, the work outside for today is done. I've got to go in and cook supper for the two patient crew and the hubs.